Ain't that simple, just putting up a camera and making a video. It's all about having the timing, editing, and all that good stuff. Right now, we got Taco Bell. We got a little bit of roosters. Let's go ahead and in tune these combinations up a mud bang. Let's get it. It's good, my niggas, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna get straight to the point. I'm tired of shit. All right, so we about to eat. Get this mud bang cracking. So first thing first, what I really want to say to my niggas is, get on your purpose, bro. It's nothing like your purpose. Like they bust me a lot of hot. It's nothing like your purpose, dude. Get on your shit. So we got the grilled cheese burrito. Never had this shit. He served everything black beans. So we got the we got the little cinnamon squirrel shit. Got the Taco Bell salsa. Oh, I wasn't supposed to get the squirrels, G. Um, it's supposed to give me the. No, I wasn't supposed to get the squirrels. Okay, I'm tripping. All right, let's go ahead and try this shit. Real cheese, taco shit. I see it. I got the cheese in tune to this motherfucker. Excuse my language. Yeah, that's pretty good. What's in two down with the dumpster sauce? Worcester's dumpster sauce. All right. About to talk to my niggas. Understand this. I put y'all first before anybody. What you mean, Omar? What you mean? Exactly what I said. I put y'all first between before anybody because number one, it's not no personal thing. It's just this is me talking to y'all is my getaway from my reality. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just got off long ass shit. Nigga, it's about, it's about to be one in the morning right now. I got food and shit just kicking it. And I'm putting that effort out there to stay consistent and get this video off for my niggas, man. And make this, and first of all, the most important part, making the video is the process. And then editing and getting this video off for my niggas. That's how much love, I can't express how much I love the process and I love making videos for my viewers. You know what I'm saying? People actually watch me. I won't stop this shit for nothing, man. I know the last time I was working at a little job, I stopped uploading, bro. I don't know what mindset I was in, but I, obviously I'm not tapped into the one I am now, bro, because I'm not stopping shit for nobody, bro. And I feel like you, if I feel like you being a robot to me, being a nuisance to me, you can get kicked to the curb like everybody else. Everybody else that learned their lesson already. And now they're going to be, they, them the same motherfuckers was talking all that shit before they left out my life. Be the same motherfuckers running right back. When they start seeing we up, when we doing good, when we doing us. And that's why I tell y'all niggas, y'all really don't know how fake this world is. You know, I mean, motherfuckers that look at me crazy right now for saying that they homie is not they homie. They're nigga they kick it with every day, smoke with every day. Go to go to party, fuck bitches with every day. It's not really your fucking homie, nigga. How would you feel if I say that shit? I'm not lying, nigga. And I put that on my uncle, nigga. The niggas that you think that's your friends that's around you, that have you smoke all this weed and them niggas are not your homie, G. They see something in you and they want to destroy you because they already went off on the wrong path, bro. And you falling for the okie doke, my nigga. I told y'all niggas, stop falling for that okie doke. These niggas not your friends. These bitches just don't want to fuck you, nigga. They want to use you. They want to steal your energy and use your time. What's more, what's more, what's more important than money? Energy, nigga. Because energy is actually the highest, cur the highest currency, nigga. If you don't have no energy, you're not making no money. You sleep all day. If you have literally zero energy, you're sleeping all day. So you need energy. Energy is the highest currency. 
Y'all letting all these people program y'all with saying money is the highest currency. It's not, bro. That's when you get when you have the highest what? Energy, G. That's what you get when you have the highest energy. You get the most money, my nigga. That's why you why you see niggas work out. Why you see niggas? Look at my chest, nigga. Look at my shoulder. Why you see niggas work out? Look at my neck. Why you see why you see niggas work out? Why you see niggas eat healthy? This is all all vegan and stuff for the, the rooster's chicken. It's just like three pieces of chicken. Why you see why you think niggas eat healthy? Why you niggas think why you think niggas go for the low sugar diet? The zero sugar coats. Whatever you want to call it, my nigga. It's a lifestyle, nigga. And the niggas with the highest energy accumulates what? The highest. Come on, bro. The highest amount of revenue, my nigga. The highest amount of revenue, my nigga. You will know that if you on your shit. Instead, you know what you're doing instead? You sitting around hanging and laughing and chilling and doing goofy shit with all these fake ass niggas around you. It's not going to be around you in 10 years and I guarantee that, nigga. Who ain't bread bread on that? Oh, you got 100? Oh, you got 20? You got 40? What's bread bread on that? They're not going to be around you in 10 years, nigga. You ain't going to see that nigga for a couple years. I ain't saying you ain't never going to see the nigga again. I'm just saying he's not going to be in your inner circle no more in 10 years. How much you want to bet? It's because I know the gang, nigga. I'm not going to tell you no shit I haven't been through myself, my nigga. Niggas I was kicking with every day. <laughs> Where they at, nigga, when I got on my purpose? Where they at? Where they at? I don't see nobody, nigga, but me. Sitting in the middle of the road. Both hands like these. Where, where they at? Oh, yeah, bro. We're going to be at the top. All them, all them deep conversations. Where are these niggas at? They got left behind, nigga. They had to get left behind, nigga. Because I got to make it, nigga. I got to eat. I had to eat. I'm not playing no bullshit games with nobody. Everybody could go out that front door, nigga. I'm Gucci. If you're not around me for me, I don't want you around me. Don't be around me for my YouTube shit. Don't be around me for how much money I make. Don't be around me for any goofy ass situation. If you're not around me for me, get the fuck on, nigga. Kick rocks. That goes for everybody, nigga. I don't care who you is. It goes for every single body. I'm not dealing with this shit no more, G. I'm not. When it come around me because who I am, how I act. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's the reason why I'm telling you to fuck with me. But not for what I got. And that's the, that's, the, that's the crazy part. You won't know what niggas' true genesis is until, until God decides, it. oh, it's time to show him. You pull out 10 racks. You about, to do a, uh, you about to do a surprising shopping spring. They got more happier than you ever seen them in their life. You over there like, wait, hold on. Was this, was this chick waiting for me to do this? Oh, what's my bro waiting for me to do this? He's on there around me because he thought I was going to be famous. Like, you going to start getting, you gonna, it's going to start popping up in your head, but you going to be like, they just probably grateful, man, for holding me down. That's the second thought, and that might be true. I'm not saying everybody around you is a snake. I'm just saying 90% is, and 10% is real, and that's a fucking fact. Like, yeah. I cut that down, probably like 5 five to 1% is real. Another 10% just have a deep agenda that might just want to be around you. It might, it's a good attention. The other 10% is good attentions, good attentions, but it's not really don't call that real. You just call that they're around you. If you didn't have that going on, they wouldn't be around you type shit, but they're not that person. You know what I'm saying? That's just the real. Yeah, but. Fucking. We do got a fork. We about to use our hands, though. We get something new. Let's dig into this rooster, though. Um. Yeah, man. One thing I noticed. Who a lot of successful people, man. That's like on the internet. They put all their emotion, their pain into their work, bro. If you can't feel niggas, like me personally, this is a good way how to find people you connect with. Because this is how I find the people that I watch and look up to now. If I can't feel where you coming from, or I can't feel your emotions, I can't feel your drive, I can't feel your energy, I won't, I won't even look your way. I won't even pay no attention to you. Basically, what I'm saying, well, I'm, let, me, let me stop being around the bush. It's okay to express your emotions. It's okay to come on here and fucking yell, scream, nigga. K 
because the people that really fuck with you will understand you. I'm not saying they feel bad for you. Everybody go through life. They, even the motherfuckers in the comments go through life. They can act like, oh, man, I feel bad for Adrian. I feel bad for Kaisa Nat. I feel bad for Davis. But in reality, they might be going to something similar. Y'all be thinking, oh, because he don't got the money like I'm Davis. He did, did, did. That don't mean nothing, my nigga. Broke niggas go through a lot of shit, too. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a thousand, bro. If you're not a rich nigga, bro. If you're not a rich nigga, you deal with the, the problems the rich niggas don't got to deal with. But then when you a broke nigga, you deal with the problems rich niggas don't got to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Y'all said that right? I ain't, make sure I ain't said that backwards. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Because I be trying to sound like fucking Bill Nice, Bill Nice, the science guy and shit. But I'm just trying to make sure I ain't said that shit twice. Basically, like, vice versa. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. I don't care what anybody feel. I'm a rich nigga, bro. Omar, man, you know all the way up there, yeah. Being rich is a mindset, bro. We ain't gonna see her talk about how 85% of America belong. Realistically, 90% in my eyes are broke mindset people. Yes, I said it. America alone. Not the world. America. And yes, I do agree with Andrew Tate. The Western is a failing society. What's the Western, Omar? Not wrestling. What's the uh, Western? America. North America. Make sure it is Western compared to where... Andrew Tate and all them live at. I do agree with him. Our society been failed, G. Y'all about to eat, man. And yeah, man, I just want to come on here and express my feelings, man, my emotions. I said, I'm, I'm human just like y'all. I go through shit just like y'all, bro. I'm not perfect, bro. I got my own problems. I got my own shit to deal with. But is it as heavy? Nah, nigga, because I don't care about 90% of the shit happened to me. 90% of the shit happened to me. Sometimes, bro, you just got to face the music, and nigga. You just got to... You got to wake up in that early in that morning in that gym before you go to work and pump them weights, nigga. You got to do what you got to do. Get that jaw going. Whatever, nigga. You got to do what you got to do. You got to get them three, you got to get them three, four meals in a day, my nigga. You got to do what you got to do, G. You got to stack that money, nigga. The first check of the beginning of the month, make that, make that, that spending on that check pretty high. And the end of the month, make that shit a little low. Save a little low. I said spending my fault, y'all. Let me rephrase that so y'all can understand what I'm trying to say. That first check, when you get paid. A little pay program I had created, beginning of the month. You save, you save the same amount that you're spending, end of the month. You save more and then you spend less, basically just saying you should have money left over towards the end of the month. And then, yeah, let's spend it. At the beginning of the month, you're going to need some money, nigga. They just took all your money. You know what I'm saying? All your all your spending the costs for your for your bills and all that. Just took all that. You need some more food in the crib. So what, what's gonna happen? Your spending gotta be higher. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I think I just said that shit backwards, did I? Fuck. I'm fried right now, y'all. I'm gonna watch this fit footage later, man. I love y'all niggas, man. I'm gone. I had to get up off of I gotta get up out of here, man. I gotta eat this food and hop in the shower and get some rest, dog. I literally won't be able to wake up in the gym no more. I don't know. I'm not debating about going or not, nigga. I'm just, I'm just in do mode right now. All the bullshit it left me a long time ago, G. I'm gone, man. I love y'all niggas. Y'all stay safe, man. Hey, road to 400 right now, but we on the real road to a thousand. Make sure y'all niggas sub up right now, man. Real niggas only, bro. If you on that fake shit, that weird shit, you know, you not. I'm gone, man. I'm tired, man. <laughs> oh.